Recently, I was eating in a candlelit restaurant and I noticed something very strange about the candle. You see, our table happened to be near a window and there was a draft coming in. Now, I've set up an artificial draft here with a fan blowing on that candle there. And can you see what's happened? The flame is leaning most of the time over to one side. And because of that, the molten wax is tending to fall down this side of the candle. And then when it cools and solidifies, you can see what's forming. Little bits hanging down that look very much like those pieces that hang down from the ceiling of a cave. Looks like stalactites, doesn't it? If you've ever been in a cave or seen pictures of a cave, you've seen rocky structures that look like this. Well, halfway through the meal, I noticed that, and so I looked to the base of the candle. What do you think I found? Exactly right. Little bits that were building up, little piles of wax. What do they remind you of in a cave? Stalagmites, right, which come up from the floor. And, of course, in a cave, sometimes they'll meet and form columns. So that, to me, was a model of a cave. And I thought, how fascinating. But I know what you're going to ask. How do caves form in limestone country? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's start with a bit of kitchen chemistry. I have here three glasses, all containing colourless liquids. That one has vinegar, this one has water, and that one has soda water. Now, I'll take a powder that you'll find in most kitchens, carb soda, and I'll stir some of this into the water, first of all. What do you think will happen? Nothing much. Some of it dissolves, but you don't see any violent reaction. However, if I take that same material, carb soda, and stir a teaspoon of that into the vinegar, what do you think will happen? Maybe you've tried this at some stage. Have a look at that. Froth and bubbles everywhere. And those bubbles given off are bubbles of carbon dioxide. Now, I know what you're saying now. What on earth will happen if we stir this same stuff, carb soda, into the soda water? Which is really similar, I suppose, to the water, except it happens to have some carbon dioxide dissolved in it. All right, here's the soda water. Here's the carb soda going into it. Once again, a violent reaction. And when you do this at home, make sure you do it on the kitchen sink, won't you? So those two react with the carb soda in quite a violent, spectacular way. Why? Because both vinegar and soda water are acids. Now, I've taken a small amount of these three liquids and placed them on a slab of marble tile. Vinegar, water, and soda water. You can't see much happening at present, but believe it or not, there is a reaction occurring there with the vinegar and there with the soda water. Those two liquids, because they're acids, are gradually eating into the marble. And within a day or two, you'll be able to see a pitting in the surface in those two spots. And whenever you get an acid, such as our friend over here, soda water, seeping through the rocks, changes can occur. Now, because water containing carbon dioxide dissolves limestone, you get holes appearing in the rocks beneath the ground. These holes get larger and eventually you have caves that people can walk through. And then something even more remarkable occurs. The water containing dissolved limestone can seep down through the roof of the cave. Little drops can hang there for a while. When they do so, the water evaporates from that solution, leaving behind solid calcium carbonate. So little bumps of rock appear on the roof of the cave. Now, more drops can form on those bumps, and so the bumps get larger and larger, longer and longer, hanging straight down. Those bits hanging down are, of course, called stalactites. But when the drops fall from the end of those stalactites, what happens? Well, they go down to the floor of the cave. And then the same thing can occur. Some of the water can evaporate from that solution, leaving behind solid calcium carbonate, and a little bump appears on the floor of the cave. The next drop that comes down means that more solid calcium carbonate will be deposited, and so that bump grows. A stalagmite comes up. Eventually, you can have some stalactites coming down and a stalagmite coming up from below meeting, and they form a column. And if you look around a limestone cave, such as this one here at Waitomo in New Zealand, you'll probably find many columns and many beautiful formations of stalactites, stalagmites, and many other things that sometimes resemble things such as organ pipes and wedding cakes and all sorts of beautiful structures. Thank <laughs> you.